So, oh, yeah. so that that is the reason I'm saying it, this is a good example. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly. Yeah. So this the example of this gentleman here, Greg. Yes, it's like a person who is who is using a metal yeah. detector in order for him to identify plastic. He's using the wrong tool. He's using the tool of science which has limited scope for something that is metaphysical in nature. I yeah. think he was like your consciousness. Fair point. That's yeah. a very fair point. I yeah. think he was actually Thank wrong you. about Einstein too. Because I read once Einstein was asked about uh, whether the universe was chaotic. Yeah. And he answered, God doesn't make mistakes. And when you've got, and I read the um, the, the Stephen Hawking book, um, A Brief History of Time. Oh, and it, it's Good a great book. book. And in that they do talk about God, scientists, because when they're accepting there was a starting point of creation, they're accepting a creator. So they're accepting yeah, God. But the definition of a creator varies from <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, God's just a word. It could be in yeah. yeah, so he, his, the universe. his idea of God was not it's just a load so of he, he was making the assertion that Einstein did not believe in a personal God, but a pantheistic God. Yeah. 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 So in other a words, he's, he's, he's like, a creator. he's, uh, God's just he's a, word, a theist. Right? He's not an atheist. He's still a theist. If you're a panthe, if you believe in a pantheistic God, you're, you're a theist. Yeah. You're not an atheist. Right. God, not, God's just a word. I mean, I could replace the word God. Yeah, with there's different concepts of God. You're right. Source energy, the universe. Yeah. Oh, so people get so hung up on the word God, but you know, when when you're accepting that, you know, the, the, the big big bang theory, a start of creation, you are accepting a creator. The only um, the only op opposing view would be if time and space always was. Yeah. There was no starting point. Absolutely. But they don't believe that science. Science have accepted this idea of the big bang theory. So they are accepting a creator of yeah. sorts. And and the, and when the reason he didn't bring the big bang theory is that because we know that the big bang. Record anymore? Is it? Or uh, that's fine, yeah. Oh, okay. As long as you guys are okay with that. Yeah. So, the Big Bang Theory is something which is the most accepted model of the origin of the universe. Yeah. Okay. The reason he actually didn't want to bring that up is because you know that it has a start, and obviously anything that is uh, like the, anything that is uh, lim uh, limited in scope, like the universe, it has an end as well. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Must do. Yeah. So what he did was he actually did this, um, uh, sorry, he actually brought in a model which is the least accepted among the scientists, which is called the cyclic universe. That means it expands and collapses, expands and collapses, for which there is no evidence. So there is no evidence that once a universe collapses, it, it, it starts a cycle again. There's no evidence. So this is just something which is, uh, what do you say, it's, it's more like um, a guess yeah. as, at best. Yes, not even um, not not even um, a postulation with evidence because when you postulate the theory, you need to substantiate it. The reason many people actually bring this in is because they know that God is eternal, so they have to bring in something eternal to counter it. And what they do, they bring in the least, what do you say, uh, the the least uh, skeptical accepted model for the origin of universe, which is this cyclic universe. So anyone who has read about the cyclic universe, they they should they would know that the uh, what entropy is something because of entropy the the cycles become bigger and bigger. Yes. What that means is that at at one point these cycles were much smaller as you go back in time. It goes to a point where it says that there was there was one there was a beginning of the cycle. That means it's not eternal. So even from that perspective. Yes, if he had done his homework, he would know that. He didn't even know the meaning of entropy when I asked him the first time. He said heat or something like that. Was he a scientist? Or? He says he's into physics. Right. But these are all things which you learn in basic it's physics. It's a hobby, a pastime? Whatever it is. He said he was better than Newton. <laughs> That's what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. So this is ego. Your, when your ego plays in, then it clouds your judgment. And this is what happens. Unfortunately, when you actually start saying things like, I'm a better scientist, or I know, I know more than Newton. No, he wasn't. He was pretty serious no, about it. What he was, <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't. Uh, he was pretty serious about it because what he was saying is that since Newton died, we have had many discoveries. So we know a lot more things than Newton. Obviously, you would, but no one would compare Newton, uh, not being a scientist or not being a great scientist, and saying I'm better than Newton. I mean, this is just ego, if you ask me. No, so, from, his from his perspective, he might be. Though. He might be what? Like, from his perspective, he might be. Better. But from his perspective, he could be like ten yeah. feet tall. You know, that doesn't make it true. Yeah, yeah but, it, it, but it's, that's what that's what we consider reality because reality is, is sub, in a way subjective because. Reality is not subjective. Who told you that? In a way, it is. What do you mean I'll, in a way? I will explain to you how it is. Are you real for? Are you for real? 
but it could, there is a possibility that we could be in a simulation. But is it is it more probable? Probably not because there is there's not really much evidence to say. Yeah, that but there is. where is the? What do you mean? Not much evidence. There is zero evidence that you could just be a figment of my imagination. That's a possibility. It's a possi no, it's not a possibility. How, I wouldn't, how would you say, on what basis would you say there's a possibility? Well, wouldn't you agree on that all things are equally possible? No. No. There are certain things which are observable facts. You cannot deny Maybe that. Maybe in otherwise, do you otherwise, other dimensions? Uh, uh, do you believe in okay. other dimensions? Do you no? believe that the earth could be flat? Do you believe in other dimensions? Yes, I do. Okay, so then all the possibilities must be equally equal. Not all the possible. What do you mean all possible? I mean, do you think it's possible for the earth to be flat? How is that relevant? Okay. You said everything is possible. Maybe, maybe in some dimensions. So you could be a flat earther. I'm speaking to. See what I mean? If we're talking about reality. No, you need to. You need to look. You need to. You need to accept one thing. There are things which are real, and there are things which are unreal. Okay. But how, but how did you find that? Well, it's, it's, it's very simple. I mean, if you do not, then what is the point of us even talking? If things are unreal. But, that's the whole but you wouldn't know. That's the whole you wouldn't know, though. Israel. Would you know? If then you are. You are far. If you guys don't even know your existence, then you are far removed from your reality of this world. The point is, what is real? Well, anything, uh, anything which you can perceive okay. as being factual. For example, so if I, I were to ask can you, I ask you a question. Do you know of the experiment with the hand? Do you know that experiment? Yeah. Where they pull a yeah. fake hand. Right. What you're perceiving is a perception. Is a touch, right? But that's not even a real hand. So how is that real? How do you feel yeah. the sensation? How is that real? How do you feel the sensation? Yeah, if it's like not I said, real. It's, it's because and then when you hit it with a yeah. hammer, they take their hand out. Yeah, it's because right, they feel the pain. No, no, no. Is they don't, real they don't feel the pain. Real no, no, they don't feel the pain. Why do they? What they do is the reason is because of mm. their of the uh, because they're frightened of being hurt. If something so, frightened of something unreal, so it doesn't. Let let me let, let me let me I let me tell you what. Real. If you are if it's you have been indoctrinated to such an extent where you mm. you fear certain things. Mm. For example, many people fear fear the darkness. Yes. yes, just because you switch off the light, mm -hmm. they feel afraid. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is the way they have been indoctrinated but to such an extent. So, so it's an illusion? So are you no, no, it's not an illusion. For in their mind, in their mind, the, the fear is real. Exactly, that's the okay. whole point. Wait, 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 wait a minute. It's not real. No, no, it's real. In their mind, the they, they think the that the fear is real. But the reality, but the reality is the concept. It's exactly. Like, it's the illusion, concept. the illusion of the concept that they have created in the mind. Remember, they have okay. created this. So it's not, it's real. not real. They have so created couldn't this. Couldn't you have created this? So how would you define no. real? Then? You could not so have. Real. No. If you look, if you guys do not, if, if you don't know how to differentiate between reality and something which is an illusion, then you do not even exist. Well, give us the definition of trust, of, of truth. Tr truth and reality is truth, right? Well, so what would be reality is truth? truth. Whether you believe it or not, the reality will exist. So for example, there are many flat, look, look, there are many people who believe that the earth is flat. Yes, but the reality is different. Yes, we know, we know that, unless you guys are flat earthers here. <laughs> so even though they say this is a fact, by the way, they do say it's a fact, isn't it? Those flat earthers. Yeah. They say, yes, the earth is flat. But is that real? But see, I think so just because they believe something is a fact doesn't make it real. You're getting too caught on the technicality. You can't no, I'm not. It. I'm giving you demonstrate. No, no, I'm, I'm with you. But I just want you to branch out, open your brain a little bit and just open the possibility that maybe just have a you know? My friend, if you branch out to where you don't know the difference between reality and uh, unreal, then that is something that is your prerogative, not mine. Oh no, I'm just <laughs> it's an invitation. It's, an, it's simply an invitation. Well, if you want to have that, I know you invited me, but I reject your invitation. That's all right. That because I'm in touch with my reality. If you're not, Fair that's enough. a different thing. Fair enough. Maybe you should go see a doctor. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'm no, honestly, we have to. Because <laughs> you, you see, real? if if yeah. if human beings do not understand the reality and something which is just an illusion, mm -hmm. then you deny everything. You wouldn't be accepting anything. What? You would be a super skeptical individual who would never have peace of mind. But there's got to be because you think everything is unreal. Is my mom real? Is my dad real? Are my children real? Is my family real? You know, like where does it end? Yeah. So there's got to be a yeah. definition. That's what I would define about reality. reality as yeah, truth. Was that? And how would you define? Yeah, truth? yeah. I mean, no. There's got to be a definition. I, yeah, exactly. So I would define reality yeah. as truth. And how, how no, but whose reality? Who? Like I said, the flat earth's reality is different to yours and mine. Exactly. But it's not yes, true. but that doesn't mean it's the truth. But it's not true. Okay. To whom? Do we all see? Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Just, just one sec. Just one sec. Just one sec. To whom is not the truth? To us or to them? Um, answer me this: Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different the similarities in the reality? No, 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 no. Answer my question with a yes or no. Not do we? Not in everything. 
Not in everything. Okay. There are certain things, for example, if I asked you, okay. if I asked you, are you a human? But we're all playing a different What? Movie. You don't know you are human or not? Are you? Could you be a monkey? So it's subjective. You could. Who knows? You could be. All the possibilities are Then you don't know it was a monkey. <laughs> if you don't know the difference between a monkey and a human, then you got a lot. You need a lot of help, my brother. But that's a good point, actually. What's so that? What is objective truth? Uh, objective truth. Okay, so object, I'll give you an example. I'll demonstrate an objective truth to you. By the way, you asked a question that our realities are different. Very good. Okay? Okay. So I'll give you an example. Imagine you go to a room where the temperature is a bit cold for you. You enter the same room, but for you it's perfectly room temperature. It's not cold, not too warm, not too hot. It's just perfect for you. You both enter the same room. Now, how do I ascertain what the temperature of the room is? Any guesses? Thermometer. Thank you. That is the objective truth. Because the thermometer reading, regardless of what you feel or what you feel, will give me an objective uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, then give me the objective what? truth and the, and okay. the exact okay. measure okay. of the temperature a, of the room. What is your thermometer? Does that answer your question? What is the thermometer the that you use to, to measure this? What is the thermometer? Don't try to. What is the thermometer that you What is the thermometer that you use to measure this? What, uh, what gives you the objective? Well, well, oh, you mean measure what? To measure the right, reality. Yeah, well, yes. let me put it this oh my God! Let me, let me, Seriously? Let me put this so you have to answer my question. Because you never answer good questions because you know it's going to you. But you, you think your question is good? Well, whether it's good, good or not. I've already answered your question. Did you not? Look, my reality, the reason, you know, that thermometer. Did you believe in the measurement of the thermometer? Yes. You did. Why is that? But then I asked no, no, the question. Why is that? Why did you believe that thermometer reading? Because that's one dimensional. I didn't ask you. I'm asking him. Oh, you're Sarah. Yes, I am. I actually want to get rid of you. But it's not going to work. What's the answer? Yeah. So why did you believe the thermometer reading? Because it's objective. Because? It's objective. Why is it objective? You tell me. Well, you said it's objective. So tell me why it's objective. Because you know what objective means, right? Yeah. What is it? I have to explain why it's objective. No, no. Why? Yeah. What is the objective definition in this case? The objective definition of this case is that you measure the heat with the term thermometer. No, but why is it objective? Because you can prove it. You know why? Because it doesn't matter where you take that evidence, it is something that everyone will accept because there is no bias here in terms of your wait, wait, of your subjective understanding of the temperature of the room or your so it doesn't matter where you take it, that same what do you say? That same instrument is going to be the evidence for anyone and everyone, doesn't matter who it is. Okay? Now that's the reason it's objective. Now without you being conscious of your environment, will you be able to take that reading? May I think you're fumbling yourself. No, I'm not. I'm not. Answer the question. I, 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 need to, I need to understand the question. I need to make sense. You don't answer the What? Questions. Your consciousness? <laughs> no. Which part doesn't make sense? You're, I'm, I'm that you being conscious <laughs> to be reading, <laughs> reading. If, I, if, I, if, you, like, if you were just, all that the reason you're here. <laughs> that's why I'm standing behind. <laughs> yeah, that's where you belong. Okay, but carry on. It, it's a clown. <laughs> when did you grow up? I thought you might have grown up by now. Twitter question. But why are you standing next to a clown? Then? Because I enjoy entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you are in a circus. Beat that one. Well, <laughs> at the moment. But I'm the ringmaster, so you left. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the ring master, shut up. Okay, go, so go on. So it's a okay, question. My, yeah, okay. go on. It's a go question. On. So there's five of us stood here now in a yeah. conversation. Mm. But, you know, we're all, all on the same kind of uh, space time mm. continuum, right? the same kind of dimension. But we're all playing a completely different movie in our heads. Mm. You know, your yeah. belief is different to my belief. So where's the objective truth there? Who decides what the Where's the thermometer? Truth is? That Where is, is it? Look, look. You, when you when you when you don't even when you are unsure about your reality about whether you live in a real world whether you yourself are real then I think you're far lost and cut okay. off from the reality Wait, let me, let me, let me question. Me where is the certainty? Sorry, I'm sorry. Just, I'm just put, go ahead let me put this you were pretty word, certain so. about the reading of the instrument which is no, called actually, the thermometer what, without you being what, what, real was, about your own self what I was let certain put, of is the, is the uncertainty I'm certain of the uncertainty are you certain you exist do I exist? Do you exist? See what Are I mean? Here? So, this guy is super skeptical. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I so, think he needs help. So I could say that. I, um, I could say we don't don't help, believe the word I say. Yeah, yeah, speak for yourself. I'm coming you from. Don't need <laughs> any help. Oh, all right. See, that's say, the first not, problem. Not in identifying and between not in the reality in and in unreal. Not admitting so, the problem is the first so problem. So I could say. So you admit you don't even know you exist. 
No, but there is a difference between a what, what happened to that grin? and an individual reality. <laughs> Look so at that grin. So I could, I could no, no, honestly, a person, well, I could a person se needs help seriously if they cannot differentiate well, between the real world and something which is imaginary. Well, let me say this. Because that is called psychotic problems. Well, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me say this. I can say, you know, don't yeah. believe a word well, I say because I'm coming from my truth. Well, I'm not representing from myself as telling the truth, but my truth. And you would have your truth. And who's to say one is right and one is wrong? We're all coming from yeah. our truth and our, our perspective. What are you talking about? So what, Which so, because there's there's a conversation, conversation saying, not an argument. Well, on, by the way, I'm talking to him. Stop interrupting. I think I'm saying. Okay, go on. The arrogance of the man. My question Don't is to him, to him not to, him, to, him, to you. Him, to him. So which reality are off, you talking about? I think I'm this, saying that. You which reality are you talking about? Well, you don't okay, let's get you views. I think I'm saying that. It's, what? It, it can only be subjective truth. Comes. Why? Why is truth subjective? Truths. I well, just give you the example. The right. I, I gave you the, the example. Truth? So what is you the have your truth. truth. I think you're just here to joke. Right. Right. No, okay. You know, you know. Initially, I thought you were someone who was, who was someone who is worth talking to. But now you have, I've realized that you're not even aware that you exist or not. So okay, so go find that out I first. Think what I'm saying is, it's yeah. subjective truth oh, only. Sure. No, 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 no. Very very do, you, do you remember that I gave you when you asked me about the subjective? Well, right? How do you Am differentiate right between objective hey, truth and subjective truth? I gave you the example of the thermometer. Do you believe that is subjective truth? Well, it's it's objective. It's if it's independent. No, no. Is it an objective truth? The reading well, of the thermometer. In, in, in that case, in that case, I'll, I'd have to say yes. But what's the objective? There you go. Truth That's your answer. In then. our beliefs and our, our perspective. Okay. Now you're talking about the beliefs. See, now you now this is a different. Well, yeah, uh, a different question. topic. Exactly. So it's there are things you will agree which are objective truths out there which yeah. we all recognize. For example, the temperature yeah. reading from a thermometer. Okay. This is an objective truth. So the answer is subjective. It's no, subjective no, no. Truth. Not every no truth objective. is subjective. Okay. No there are truths which are which right which are wrong. objective. Wrong, For example, right. if I ask you about the shape of the earth, you're going to tell me it's flat. You really like this. What if I believe that? Yeah. What do you say it's flat? Well, I mean, my, my so these are so belief, these are right? things so which we all right. accept because right. sometimes what you see, yes, it's what not. Is it? Right. Uh, is that? I want it over there. No, no, we're ignoring me anyway. Don't worry. You say we? Is that the royal we? It is, yeah. Oh, right. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying, to the royal shit. <laughs> well, that will be you, <laughs> which I'm ignoring. Thank you. So what I'm saying so here is that. Ignoring it that but, way. By the way, <laughs> have you? Do you believe that objective truth or you don't? Well, I, I, I guess there must be an objective. No, no, truth. don't guess. I, Tell me, I do you see, believe or not? I see subjective Hello. truth everywhere. Do you not see objective truth at all? Well, I'll tell you what I did see the other week. I was, okay. watch, I was, watching, uh, I was watching Fox News, right? And uh, it's Of all the news in the, in the exactly, world. Exactly, exactly, yeah. I don't know why I did, but I did. Okay, go on. But it struck me that there's, there's, there's no difference between Fox News and CNN. They're exactly the yeah. same. They're just kind of commenting on the wall through their perspectives. Yeah. But who's right and who's wrong? CNN have got no no uh, no right to say Fox are wrong. And Fox have got no right to say CNN are wrong. But they're both on completely opposing... Yeah, but news can be right or wrong. We don't well, deny that. It's going through their filter. It's going through their perspective. They're, they're commentating on the world as they see it. But who's right and who's wrong? No, it's but completely there, subjective. But there, there are instances where... For, for example, if they're reporting on, say, an, uh, an earthquake in Japan, both of them reporting, you cannot say who's wrong or who's right if they have video evidence for you. Well, they, they come through their That's filter. They come through their filter. They're, they're well, whatever it is, if, they're, if, if you have multiple reports of an earthquake well, happening in, in Japan, the yes? And we, all, and we all died. But Another report will say that plate tectonics yeah. stuck and exactly. Exactly. It's, exactly. Not it's not a circus. We're talking about, we're talking about an earthquake. I don't think okay. you can have a neutral kind of event because it's always got to go through the filter of whoever's seen. No, but then where do you, you, where do you well, stop? Well, let me finish. Yeah, where do you draw the line about reality and unreal? Hold on, let me, let me finish. That because because we we put energy and meaning into stuff so we're really experiencing ourselves aren't we because everything has energy that we put into it we make it something what we make it is what it becomes it's kind of impossible what do you mean energy what do you mean you put literally. energy i don't understand well, you, it's kind of everything you everything you see you put some energy and meaning into it you make it something it's impossible to see anything because you're telling stories about everything that happens to you right? you look back and are you saying that you do not believe anything that you see I'm not saying I don't believe things that I see, but I... I what do you mean you're putting energy? I don't I, understand what I, you mean I create by that. a story. We all create No, no, we're not talking about, things we are not about arbitrary, random things. I'm saying if you see something, for example, do you have children? No. Do you have parents? Parents? Yeah. I think I do have parents. Yeah. I mean, are they alive? That's what I meant. Uh, yes. Yeah? So, if, do, you, do you believe they're your parents? 
from his experience. This is not away from the, the point we were just making. No, it is because I'm telling you about objective it's truth. Like a wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you about objective truth. No one here will deny that they came from. What's that? Yeah, they came from a male and a female. Yeah. No one will deny that, yeah. okay? So what I'm saying is that there are certain truths which are objective. No one should, no one can deny. But if you're going to question, wait, wait, wait. If you're going to question each and everything that you see as being subjective, how do you learn if you don't let, ask let questions? Me, you ask me. How do we learn you if you don't? Did I tell you not to ask questions? You but I'm asking you. Like, what I'm saying is, do not. not to question no, 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 no. When did I say don't question anything? Believe it all. That's what you just said. Don't be silly. Don't, I didn't you, say that. You just asked. I said do not ask silly questions. Don't ask silly questions that you exist or not. You just asked me about energy and meaning. Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean by that. So bend down, Junior. Anything that happens. on my knees. What would you like me to do next? Let's let's get down on your knees and see how you. Okay. What I'm. What is it? You got me on my knees, you filthy pig. Oh, is that the only way you perceive? Wow. Your brain is perverted. So every time, any time a person gets on his knees, it has to involve sex. For what would it involve because he's a pervert. What would it involve? Just you? prove that you're a pervert. What would it involve with you? I don't know. Sitting down on your knees. Sitting. You're, <laughs> you're an idiot. If you think up. the only person who gets on his knees down, is for gorgeous. sex, what an idiot. Okay, so now Very back. Pressed. You know that's why we don't talk you're to him really because he's pervert. Because he's a pervert. You're an intellectual powerhouse. Hey, you're just a pervert. Really Doesn't matter intellectual, intellectual or not. So anyway, by the way, look. I think we have we have exhausted. The, the discussion here. Well, you He's got five microphones. You He's just question. jealous. He doesn't have any. No one records him, you know, in the park. Five microphones. You know why no one records him? Because he's always been a poet. Just oh no, you asked me a question about energy and meaning, right? Through the curtains. What I meant by that is, you know, we we think back about experiences and events, things like this, and we we can't help but tell ourselves a story about it. We can't see it neutrally. It's a neurolinguistic program. I recommend you read. Why don't you shut up? Somebody's talking you. Read a bit of NLP. You will learn about social energy science. Energy Let's carry on somewhere else. Because we've got an you idiot here. And I don't want to. Is that really worth it? No, but NLP. Just read a bit of basic NLP. <laughs> Get on your knees. You will learn a lot. No. Get on your knees. <laughs> Let's ignore that idiot. And we'll move down here. Slow down. You're right. Sorry, we didn't even... You're busy, you're busy at work. NLP. Are you following me like a puppy? Yes, 